My name is James. And I'm Matt. And together with the Broken Game Brothers. Today we are doing post commentary because I screwed things up again. Ha ha ha. It's actually probably for the better anyways. Uh yeah. We got some good things instead this time. Oh yes. Um I'll tell you a story while we're doing post commentary in a little bit, but first of all, there is a moonfish around here, as you can probably hear by the radar going off its rocker. And there it is! Yay! Yay! It's on Lucat Island! Woohoo! Uh, in a few minutes, in a few seconds here, I will talk about the elements. Nope. Right it about... Okay, so up first you have the element of green, which represents light. Green is only good against purple, it is bad against red, and bad against blue. It does neutral damage against itself, yellow, and silver. Uh, magic, green magic, if non-offensively speaking, you have your HP healing magic, which is of course like examples are Sacri and Sacrez. Uh, offensively, you have like spells like Noxie, which will do area effect damage around target, and they have a slight chance of poisoning target as well. Uh, once again, poison does a certain amount of damage over time uh, for a certain amount of turns. Uh, uh, after a certain amount of turns, it does go away unless you use Kyria on it first. Uh, green is a very good element, uh, of course, I have been building up to it for a very long time. Okay, next we have red. Red is the element of fire. Uh, red is one of my favorite elements. It is good against green, purple, and blue. Uh, bad against itself and yellow. Neutral against silver. Uh, it's a very offensive element. Uh, the non-offensive magic it has will just raise your attack and defense. Uh, like we already saw with Increm. Offensively, though, it will just do damage, just straight up damage, and it does area of effect, which is, of course, uh, area around the target will be affected. Uh, it also has a spell that will attack all enemies on the screen, so that's very nice to have. Uh, it does a shit ton of damage at all times, unless, of course, you're fighting a red element or a yellow element enemy. Okay. Uh, next we have purple. Uh, purple is the element of ice. Uh, purple is my least favorite element. It is only good against red. It is bad against green, purple, and blue. Neutral against yellow and silver. Uh, magically, uh, the non-offensive magic has a chance of inflicting silence. Personally, I don't really care for it because I don't use status effects in battling. It's just not my style. So I almost will never use purple magic because of that. Uh, offensively, that would just does area effect damage, and you know it does it does a good amount, just about as much as green magic does. But red magic does more, <laughs> so red is better. Just saying. Uh, purple, though, the representative country of purple is you know, they're pretty interesting people actually, but we're not going to get into them until like the end of the game. Next we have blue. Blue is an element of wind and water. Uh, sorry if that's a little small for you. Uh, good, it is very good against red and yellow, so it's it's a pretty decent element actually overall. Uh, it's bad against green and purple. It's neutral against blue and silver. One of the only elements neutral against itself. Kind of funny. Magically speaking, there's two non-offensive type of magics. Are the well, I guess only one technically. Two non-damaging, I guess you'd say. Uh, first one will just raise your speed and agility. The second one, the second non-damaging magic spell it has, uh, has a chance of inflicting sleep to the entire party. It's extremely annoying when the enemy party has it on their side. Offensively, uh, it has offensive spells that would just do uh, air of effect damage. Quite a bit of damage with that, uh, they'll read this more. Uh, anyways, next we have element of yellow represents all lightning. Good against green, blue, and silver. It is bad against itself. Neutral against red and purple. Uh, magically speaking, uh, I don't think we've seen it yet, but there is a non-offensive, well, non-damaging yellow spell that will lower the attack and defense of the target. Uh, kind of nice, I guess, if you're using it on an enemy. A little annoying and the enemy uses it on you. <laughs> Personally, I don't use yellow that much. I don't know, it's just me. Uh, offensive, uh, the damaging attacks it does are all line of sight, and they just do straight up damage, really. They're, they're, they're kind of nice. I don't know, it takes a little more, it takes a lot of tactics, really, to use them correctly, which I'm really not into. <laughs> it's just not what I do. I just more like go in there and kill them all. 
Anyways, uh, next we have Silver. Silver is actually one of my, uh, not one of my favorite elements. Uh, it's the element of death. Uh, it is only good against yellow. Bad against nothing, really. It's kind of a cool element. It's uh, neutral damage against pretty much everything in the game, except for yellow, which is, of course, the one it's good against. Uh, magically speaking, it cures all status effects. It just includes death. I've already said Kyria will cure anything except for death, but it, there is a revival spell, which is a silver spell, coincidentally, that kills your ass as well. Um, there, offensively speaking, has a chance of instant death. Uh, we've already seen one, Attorney, which only has a chance of it. There's another spell that we'll probably see later on, which has a 100% chance of causing death. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty uh, nasty spell. Uh, well, that's about it. So... So that's about it. Uh, we'll now return to the game and we should be getting on with it. So I will see you guys back at Sailor's Island. So here we are. So you heard about the elements. The elements are fun stuff. And we magically warped down below the ladder. Ah, uh, they already know how to get here, so it doesn't even matter. Um, here so we have a back entrance specific are... to. They already knew about that. Did they? Yes. Okay, uh, so we're about to get into something called Champ. Yeah, see, see, see. See? We totally know what's going on. Totally. Squeak, squeak. Well, wow, that's real, real, yeah. <laughs> so, um, basically, Kubel is special. Um, you have to feed him. Yeah. yeah. That's how you get, um, what's your... That's how you get new weapons for Fina, because Fina can't, you can't buy weapons for Fina. You just have to feed Chammy. Cupel, smart one. Shut up! I have named him Chammy. Chammy. That's a very creative name. Uh, so th because we're, we're gonna, jams. we're gonna go find a Chammy in just a second as soon as Fina's done bitching. Okay, yeah, she's done. <laughs> now we now search we've... around for a bit. So you'll hear Cupel sort of going off with his weird ass noise. <laughs> Eventually, you'll see him pop up in the corner like that, and you press A like that, and you find a champ. To use a champ, all you have to do is go into your item screen, which I'm, there I go, and then, and then you find the champ and you feed it to Cupel. That's all there is to it. Now, as Funa said, uh, feed it enough champs to Cupel, and he will eventually evolve. There's a lot of evolutionary paths. I won't show them all because that's time consuming and I'm lazy. Uh, we'll just get what we get and don't have a fit. Uh, what I did just there, that reason for that cut is because I went to a shop, so it really wasn't anything important. Uh, we're about to get another Moonfish here. Why don't you have one of those special thingamajiggers for Moon? For... I do. Champs. Oh, I'll... I'll make a graphic for Champs and... For the next... Yeah, that's what I thought! Yeah, I will do that. Eventually. On a side note. This Moonfish is a little bitchy to get, because... You, you did just a perfect position. I don't know why they did that, but it's really horrible game design. It's really annoying. And oh, there we go! Yay! Moonfish was caught. There we go. It's done. So now, what we gotta do? I don't know why. I'm, I think I was looking up stuff. Yes, Stop looking up stuff, past self. Move, 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 move. Oh, there he goes. There we go. Uh, so all we gotta do is you gotta go to the little jack. I don't know. I think I was looking around for something. Were you? I think so. Oh, oh yeah, I was like, I don't have any super moves. God damn it all. Yeah, because <laughs> he was dumb. I was IR dumbs. Anyways, uh, we are. So is it, just to confirm something? Four is the max amount in your party. Yes. Oh, but you can have At any time, yeah. Uh, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to talk to your mommy and daddy. And, and then, then they tell like, you Yay! They're, they're like, yay, go away! So I'm not gonna be trying even to do voiceovers, because I can hardly see the screen. Yay! So now we have talking, but mm -hmm. Didn't we give up on Fina? We did. I think we did give up on Fina. We might do some voice for her, but I'm lazy. Neither Just of us worry about keeping the moon crystals out of Hands of Illuminus. Yeah, basically. They were there when they were talking. I didn't see them when they were talking about moon crystals. Whatever. Uh -huh. no, Don't worry, Dad. I won't you down. What do you think they talked about the entire voyage back? They didn't even mention it until they got back. Oh. 
smart one. But I'm fine. I can't prove it to you. I put up the next episode. Anyways, uh, that well. the guy guess I don't even want to. Okay. <laughs> Those God silly guy guess. We're the only ones that can stop them. And to be really honest, I've always wanted to sell the world. <laughs> oh yes. And this is my chance. Yes. Yes. Strange lands. Want to see them all. Aren't you the romantic? Hey, a guy can dream. And a girl too, <laughs> if she so wants. Mm-hmm. Cheesy face. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Joyce. Mm-hmm. Uh, wow, we have nothing to talk about. Well, it's just a long-ass cutscene. It's the last... Well... It's only long as cuts in this video, fortunately. <laughs> Unlike Jeez. last video, which was like, like we one had... fight in a 20 minutes of cutscenes. We haven't had enough of those. Oh, I know, right? And there's still more to come. Oh, I know. Actually, the next video doesn't have any cutscenes in it. Yeah, kind of nice. That we're just like running around battling and shit. I cut. I, uh, the next video was an hour's worth of material. <laughs> Yeah, because you did stupid things, but we won't talk about that, yeah, they because they're going to find out in the next video. But, don't worry, I cut it down, and it's only 22 minutes of your kids watch. Yes. It's kind of like that part in the video game that you never want to do, because you know it's going to be tediously long. But you have to do it anyways to finish the game. That's pretty much this entire game. <laughs> wow. Way to make it sound really <laughs> depressing. Hey, dude, they were talking about tossing corpses and burning them alive. I mean, seriously. And then there's the one kid who's like, I don't think the rats will miss you if, me, if you kill me. So kill me now. And I was like, you're a kid! So we can agree that this game is ultimately very depressing? In the beginning, yes. Oh, so it lightens up. It does, sort of, ish. <laughs> I'm gonna guess no. Maybe. Okay, uh, moving onwards. <laughs> uh, now we're gonna bang out a few more discoveries. Yes, so, uh, discoveries! Let's try and find them. Yeah, in just a second. Um, right. Don't worry about that. Anyways, so there's got more fishy. Fish. Fishies! Yes, I don't know. fish <laughs> are a pretty good way of getting heal items and selling. Yeah, you can actually use fish to heal. I don't think I mentioned that before, but you can uh, use fish as items for like a sacred crystal. They're not a whole lot of health, but you know, everybody helps, I suppose, in an emergency. So for this next discovery, what you need to do is head to Shrine Island first. If you find Shrine Island, head directly east, and you will run to this stone reef and get into a random battle. And we can talk through cutscenes. Cuts, whatever. Yes, anyways, uh, it's all continuous. So, after that happens, you wander around aimlessly. I said wander around aimlessly, not get into random battles. Oh, you do plenty of that. Oh, why did I show this battle? Okay. I bet there's something in here. Oh, uh, didn't you like- Oh, yeah! Anyways, we got Fina, and we might as well show her off in a battle. Wait, you cut the first one? Because she... Vina never attacked in the first one. Fine. Yeah, she just sat there and did nothing. So Let's here see. we're going to see what Pina does when she attacks, just so you can like see what she does in action. She's kind of weakish, because when you first get her, she's only level 1. So you may... She at killed that in one shot! She actually hit a looper. Oh, well, that's a looper. And loopers are weak to physical attacks if you can actually hit them. So she I'm hit a looper. Surprised. Yeah, I know. Well... Hit a looper. Yes, she hit a looper. Get over it. Anyway, uh, so Fina is level one. So yeah, see, like we're showing right there because I already leveled her up one level. Anyways, you may want to take the time to grind a little because again, she's only level one. <laughs> oh, and there we go. Sky, Sky Coral. Coral, Green Island. Okay, 
Microorganisms called sky coral attached themselves to moonstone boulders and grew to form these reefs. These, they flourished in very specific conditions, can take 200 years to grow, their various colors and shapes have long been valued for their beauty! You read that too fast. I read that faster than I read it in the original recording. Go figure. Because in the original recording, you weren't going... Okay. So now there's a one more... There's one, more. There's more. <laughs> but wait, there's more! Let us just, you know, pack <laughs> it up in the guide. I don't think I was checking it up in the guide. Okay, uh, so the next one is right here on this island. Thing. At the very end of it. There it is. Who? Silver Moon Pit. Silver Moon Pit. Only small islands such as Pirate Island and Shrine Island lie in the area where Silver Moonstones fall, so deposits of this large are very hard to come across. Legends say that Silver Moonstones hold the power of life, but the truth remains unknown. And we've already explained that it's actually death. Yeah, they lied. <laughs> Green is life, I think. You just had to give it away. You horrible person. Anyways. Stupid battle. Stupid battle! What are you doing? Uh, I'm in your face. Messing you up. Like Make a boss. forget where you're supposed to be going. There we go. <laughs> you find this. I think I actually looked it up on the map. <laughs> Without... I cut that part out. There was... Supposed to go here. And then we go to the... Do we? No, I don't think no, we're going to go there. Oh, no. First we go to the doctors. Oh, yes. We're going to go to the doctor. We're going to show what happens when you feed moonfish. And then we go to... Yeah. Because this is relevant-ish. Please. Get to the freaking... Okay, there we go. There we go. So, all those moonfish. Oh. All four of them. <laughs> Three. Whatever! We already fed one. We did, didn't we? Feed the bird the moonfish! We'll automatically feed the first one. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Come on, past self! What are you doing? Explaining things. Anyways. Give the moonfish to the bird, so... Yes. Uh, every time... Only, the only unfortunate part about this quest is every time... You feed a moonfish, you have to watch this animation. It won't skip it. There's no way to skip it. So, to ease your pain, I will skip it. I will cut it out in editing so you don't have to see it and 24 it times over. <laughs> but we will leave in the coughing up because that's enjoyable. Oh yes, no, not really. I'll just, uh, I'll just cut ahead. I'll always cut ahead to the part where you get your uh, reward. Because for every moonfish that you give them, you do get rewards, one to one ratio, it's kinda nice. Right this first right. one, we got Rhizellum. Rhizellum is a silver spell. Has a 100% chance of reviving a downed character with 100% 100, with 100 of their health. Really nice to have. Fortunately, it's only one. Warrior's Rune. Yeah, this quest, it kinda reminds me of the Constellation side quest in Baton Kato's, because in that one, uh, for every uh, Magnus you find, you get a... Uh, other is it every? I thought you. Oh, it is every. It's just... Yeah, it's every single one. Yeah, whatever. Anyways. Uh, okay, so thank every you. for every like. Thank you. Thank you. It's so cute. Huh? <laughs> and now we get backstory. Yeah. So for every like, I think it's like every two or three moonfish you feed them, you will uh, get a little bit on their story. <gasps> their story nice. ties in with another story that we're gonna go into later, I think. Or no, it doesn't. No, it's just a separate side. It's story. a separate side story. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking it's about. It's completely useless. The only yeah, it's kind of cool. Get, the only thing you get out of it are some pretty good draw. You get a lot of rare items out of it, actually. Yeah. That's the only boy. Wait. Oh well, never mind. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Joys. Well, this is enjoyable. Another orphan. Go freaking figure. And now we get pretty pictures. See, he's the doctor in the background being a creeper. Oh, yeah, total pedophile creeper. Man. He's a total photobomb creeper. Yep, he's a pedophile. Remember, he has his daughter, daughter of a little Last time we had girl. a pedo voice, now we have an actual pedophile. There's a lot of pedophiles. Dude, Vigoro is a freaking pedophile to the max. Oh my god. But we haven't really seen this character very much, so we're not gonna worry about that. However, she and the whole firing in for yes. Since then, she hasn't shown a hint of any emotion or spoken a single word. Oh wow! <laughs> I don't blame her. The poor kid had to watch her family ship with all her family on board sink below the clouds. She watched her family burn alive. Holy crap! 
How is she not a mass murderer with like psychotic because syndromes? She has a little bird that you are feeding for her, <laughs> and which gives you presents. <laughs> Therefore, everything is made better, obviously. Yes, I, I guess there's a still. Obviously, lining. don't question it. You have no right to question it. To make Maria happy. I just want to my punishment. Whenever she needs me, she springs her bell. <laughs> Every time I hear that bell, my heart leaps. Find more birthdays! MORE MOONFISH! No, don't worry, we'll be doing plenty of that. Oh yes, they're kind of scattered throughout the game. There isn't any more moonfish until... Well, like, two or three episodes from now. <laughs> this will be a long LP. Oh yeah, well, I messed many more hundred episodes. That's... Uh -huh. Well, that's not something we should be worrying about. We're not really... Uh, so... ONWARDS! I think we're going to Sellers Island? Yes. Just yes, that self? Yes, going to Sellers Island? Yes, we are. Because we need to sell some of those discoveries. Mm hmm. Didn't you say you were like going to cut something out at that point? Nope. I think not. Oh, right, because this guy is here. Mm hmm. So. Domingo! This guy is a jerk. Hey, you remember how? Very beginning of the game, we found the pirate's grave, and. They were talking about discoveries. They said, if you take too long with your discoveries, some guy will swoop in and steal your thunder. Well, this is that guy. Take too long, Domingo will sell the information instead. So when you go to sell your information that you already have, you will sell it for less money. A lot less. Yeah, it's pretty significant. As we're going to see in just a moment. As soon as I'm done doing a bad accident, which you know, was never recorded. Yep, because you failed with your recording software. I didn't completely fail. Basically what happened was we recorded this episode, the computer fucked up. Yeah. I fucked up too by accidentally not saving the commentary. And then... No, the computer didn't mess up. You just turned it off without saving the commentary. Well, that's... Well, yeah, there's that. And then what else happened was the file was partially corrupt. And I figured, oh, well, if the file's corrupt, I won't be able to save it, so we can just re-record it and have commentary. Well, it turns out I was able to save it by using fancy converter software, and it still worked, and I got my file, so it didn't matter. In the end, it was still a fuck up because we, didn't, we had to do post commentary. And that's the gist of it. Mm hmm. Topple Rock. Keep that name in mind, kids. We'll be seeing it in a little bit. Well, not this episode. Hint, 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 hint. Oh, the joys of an hour-long episode recording. It's only like 10, 20 minutes. Whatever. Um... That was... okay. Well, apparently you didn't get that. No, um... So you talk Here to... we have James attempting to talk to this guy. Okay, now as soon as you talk to him... And if you... Yes, yeah, so once you defeat a bounty, you talk to the good master and he gives you your money. 1,000 gold for the first one. Not too shabby. Fine. We're actually going to be taking on uh, the second one, the Ruby of the Larso clan, um... Not for a long... Uh, we can do them not right away, actually. We have, we have to go... So, guide stones. You see, uh, it was only worth 40 coins. That's because I took too long to sell it. Well, you can't sell it until, like... Yeah, I could sell it. I could have sold it before. I just forgot. Fail. It ends up being a learning lesson for the people. Anyways, you get a black spot. So, so this is another side quest. This side quest, though, is all fighting, so it's kind of fun. The Angel of Death. Um, yeah, we will have to do this because it is required for... 100% ranking. But I won't do it for a really long while because it's really kind of a pain in the ass because she's not a pushover. Yeah, it's basically a series of boss battles and they're not easy. Because of what the bosses are. Yeah, they're just not they are not terribly easy. Uh, next up! Now that you've gone out and if you escape the Lua, you can now buy ship parts. I highly recommend you get yourself some. And here we have, um... Secondary cannons. Oh, he's also going to tell you about secondary cannons. I will explain secondary cannons at a later time. No. Oh, yeah. We do. Mm-hmm. So you're wanting to get the three, first secondary cannon you're allowed to get is a three-inch cannon. Do it. I recommend. I highly recommend you get at least one. 
Just one is all you're gonna need. Uh, later, you're gonna get better ones later, and you're gonna want more of them. But for now, just one is all you're gonna need. You're also gonna want the engine cover and armor deck. As soon as past self is done bitching. Okay, there we go. So you're gonna want the engine cover. Equip it. Do it. You want the armor deck as well. And that just raises your defense, so you take a little slightly less damage. You can also buy bombs or repair kits if you want. You may want to buy a few repair kits. It would be a, definitely be a good investment. Bombs, yeah, I kind of like I've said before, I'm a little iffy on using ship items in battle. It's just the way I play. I just don't like doing it for some reason. I will use repair kits. I just don't use the other items. I prefer to actually use magic. And you said you don't like using magic. Only in ship battles, because it's free. And really? ship items are, yeah, ship items are a little bit more expensive than regular items. Just a little bit. And the money's what counts, kids. Okay, so I think what we're going to do next is we're going to, uh, no. Next, we're actually going to show item shops. As soon as we're done, okay. <laughs> Checking stuff. Running yeah. in circles. No, no. Oh. Okay, item shop. Oh, isn't this where you find out stuff? Yes, so yes. Sailor's Island is a wonderful place. I'm going to show you right why right now. Okay, oh, yeah. so first of all, as your ranking rises, merchants greet you differently. Like you see right here, Vice to Determined. The, the greeting changes with every ranking that you go up. It's kind of cool. And actually, um, the story also plays into your ranking. Yeah, well, let's wait later. Uh, so first of all, Sailor's Island changes the inventory as you progress the game. So come back here often, because they will have new stuff and awesome stuff. Indeed. So as you can see now, they're selling sacrifice crystals. So you may want to buy a few of those, because you're gonna, you're gonna want them. Yeah, unlike what James did in the past few episodes with. I have money now, so I don't care anymore. Actually, I don't think I have any money because I bought chip parts. <laughs> chip parts are so freaking expensive. Next we have weapons. You also get, there's also new weapons. Uh, I think we all are gonna have enough money to buy one or two of those. Yes, we're gonna want the beacon and we're gonna want the scout wing. I think we're also gonna get some armor here. Once again, anytime you get new weapons, sell off your old stuff because there's no upgrade system to speak of, so it doesn't matter. Yay! So we got some last two armor. I think it's all I can afford. No, I got a raincoat too. Dude, you have like 3,000 more gold. Shut up. You have plenty. Blue orang. Huh. Drachma shirt. Oh. He's shirtless! He's too sexy for his shirt. Too sexy for his shirt. Do you even know where that meme came from? Yes, actually, I do. That song was around in the 90s, dude. Good. <laughs> I am older than you, Matthew. I know these things. I uh, remember when that song sure. came out. So, All right. Um, so. Now we're going to go and look for some moonfish. No, I not. Believe. No. No, now we're moving on with the story. Weren't we? No. Oh. No. There's no moonfish you can get. I but thought there were. Nope. Oh, because we already got them. That's right. So. Sorry. Right. Um, yes. actually, that's not the end yet. No, it is not. I now forgot the cops. End it. <laughs> Quickly. And we're Game Brothers. Yay. Like, yourself, be subscribed to our videos, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.